don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little bell, and I'll see you later. Hello everybody, Mr. JK here, back with another video, and today, uh, as requested, there was another uh, video request. Uh, another video request from uh, our main man, Benson, was America has no chill. So yeah, this video is coming out today, and I do mean it today, it's coming out today. Anyways, yeah, this video is up, and yeah, thank you, thank you again, Vincent. Also, wanted to get two things out of the way. Keep those, keep those uh, video requests coming. It doesn't now, video requests. It doesn't necessarily just have to be fat electrician videos. It could be any other video that I haven't seen or that's on um, YouTube as a whole. As far as video requests go, for anyone else who wants to comment on videos that they would like me to react to, you, you're also free free to do so. They don't necessarily have to be fat electrician videos. They could be other videos as well. Uh, for another example, there was a previous video I had did on my comeback that Vincent requested. Any other video requests, you can leave them down in the comment section below as well. Though, I will have to say it's very nice to uh, react to Fat Electrician's video. I like Fat, Ele Fat Electrician, but I don't like to vary up the content as well. So feel free to request other videos, like I said before. Another thing I also wanted to get very much out of the way. Uh, firstly, I didn't say this enough. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 100 subscribers. I know it's not much, but to me, it's, it means a lot. It means that um, this channel has a future. And I can't wait to see this channel grow and grow and grow over the years. And also another thing, I don't just, and I'm pretty sure some of you have seen other contents on my channel. I also want to focus on other content as well. Like for instance, this channel was also funny enough to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson on my channel. It originally started off as a manga uh, manga review and reaction channel. Also, just give you guys a little bit of a history on my channel as well. But also, I digress, I'm also doing gaming videos as well. And I know in comparison to my reaction videos to the Fat Electrician isn't generating that much views, but I will hope to one day see it generate that many views, just as many views too. too. Like I said, I don't wanna just do or just only be another reaction channel in a limelight though technically speaking from a growing channel perspective that seems like the more smart way to go but i also want to do uh gaming videos as well like i've been doing in the past though i will say and i'm pretty sure some people have noticed i'm not really good at it though I i'm would like to get good at it in the future so that leaves another question would you guys also like me to vary up my content as well to doing also gaming videos with reaction videos or did you guys just want me to do straight reaction videos going forward for my channel? That's up to you guys. Guys, technically speaking, I know some people are saying, well, what's your channel, dude? You can do whatever you want with it. Well, duh. True, but also I would like to have a little insight too, or at least for the time being only focused on reaction videos and just put the gaming videos on the back burner. Truth be told, I would also like to be a channel that wants to vary up content as well. For example, uh, I know later on down the line, next month, uh, the first day of next month will be my birthday. And um, the next day after that, I will be buying uh, a game and introducing a game series on this channel that I really wanted to get into. And that game I'm going to be playing from July 2nd onwards will be a game series. Some of you probably might not know what this is, but there's a game series I'm very much, very much interested into. Well, we're waiting. For those of you that are familiar with the Persona series might know this game series, or specifically this Atlas game series called Shin Megami Tensei. And Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance just recently came out not too long ago. And I wanted to buy it uh, this week when I got paid, but I didn't have the means to do so because bills. But I will definitely say that starting July 2nd, I will be buying Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance and do a playthrough of that. So that's coming soon as well, just as a heads up. Anyways, uh, enough of me procrastinating. Uh, I've been talking all day. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. In five, four, three, two, one zero. Let's go. 
Hi, welcome to my Christmas special that I never planned on making because, well, it's Christmas and I have plans. Or I had plans, rather. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's been snowing for the last four days where I live and it is currently negative 11 degrees outside. For my international viewers, that's actually freedom units, not commie units. <laughs> <laughs> That's freedom units, not commie units. I didn't make a Christmas video, and for some reason, people keep asking me to make a video about the truce of 1914. You know, that time during World War One, where the Germans and the British and the French all threw down the... I heard about that story. That story is phenomenal. And quite an interesting story at that, by the way. Basically, for, um, I'm pretty sure he's going to explain what that is, but it's like... Just as a quick oversimplify of what he's talking about, uh, British soldiers, and it was a little, little bit of a uh, truth, truth between British soldiers and German soldiers. Well, when Christmas came around, just all of a sudden everybody just stopped. Uh, again, this is oversimplified. There's more going into it, but at simplification, they stopped wearing for like Christmas all the way into New Year's, and it was quite the turnabout and the reason i know about that that in particular is because uh for anyone who doesn't know um i'm a big fan of uh well i used to be a huge fan of doctor who and one of the christmas specials was twice upon a time which has its problems but one of the things they got to at the end was this christmas invasion kind of i was like what i didn't understand it at the time to come to find out it was an actual thing that happened yeah, that's one of the reasons why I knew about this. Also, Peter Capaldi is one of my favorite fucking doctors. Tell me down in the comment section below what your, who your favorite doctor is. Peter Capaldi is definitely one of my favorite doctors. And above him is Matt Smith. Of the 11th is always going to be my favorite doctor. Yeah, so anyways, getting back to the video. Their weapons and celebrated Christmas in the middle of no man's land and played soccer or did whatever Europeans do. And that would be a great video. The only problem is America's not involved. So, no. I mean, obviously America's not involved. If they were, the war would have been over. So I decided to consult <laughs> the interwebs to find the most significant moments in American military history, looking for that ultra heartwarming human moment. And I'm just going to level with you. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure that it, because when you Google the U.S. military and Christmas, apparently America goes hard. Like America has no chill on Christmas <laughs> whatsoever so this heart which is why we're here today to find out heartwarming christmas video is now officially changing to the top four times that america lost their chill on christmas but first if you're currently watching this in the bathroom while you're hiding from your family go ahead like comment subscribe and also <laughs> if you just stole grand thumbs intro go ahead and have a drink god damn the youtube manual reviewer that was apple juice i promise but drinking alcohol is Keep a warrior. I'm friendly to advertisers. Buh. Sorry, I had to change my hat. Fat and I'm already getting sweaty. Anyways, top four times America lost their chill on Christmas going in chronological order. Starting off in 1776 with George Washington crossing the Delaware. That super ultra heartwarming human moment when the soon to be president of the United States of America crossed a frozen river on Christmas to try to murder the enemy in their sleep. Gotta set a <laughs> tone right out of the gate. Anyways, if you don't know, they ambushed about a thousand Hessian soldiers. Hessians were essentially German mercenaries that were fighting for the British. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you that America was fighting Germans before America was even a thing. I think my high school English English teacher yeah, that's fucking insane. would have called that foreshadowing, whatever that is. <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> Anyways, the Hessians were actually caught so off guard that there were very few casualties on both sides. The Hessians only had 22 men killed and the Americans only lost two men. The remaining Hessians were then taken as prisoners of war, and I guess that's kind of heartwarming. Moving on to number two, we have the 1814 Treaty of Ghent. This is the treaty that would bring an end to the War of 1812, which if ah. you don't know is basically the Revolutionary War Part 2. And that treaty was obviously signed on Christmas Day of 1814. However, nobody seemed to tell Andrew Jackson that, because like three weeks later on January 8th, 1815... Oh god, what did he do? He would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the British Navy at the Battle of New Orleans and win, and this is considered to be America's greatest naval victory over the British Navy. And then I guess the treaty just like went into effect after that. They, they were just like, oopsies. Oopsie poopsie. 
whatever. Moving on to number two, we have the first battle of Fort Fisher in 1864. Now, if you don't know 1864, that puts us in the middle of the Civil War. You know, that one time America decided to have a scrimmage game against itself before it decided to only play away games for the next 200 years? Yeah, that. Anyways, Fort Fisher was held by the Confederates, and on Christmas Eve, the Union decided to pack a ship full of explosives, try to float it up next to the fort, and then blow it up. That failed miserably, wow. and ultimately all it did was alert the Confederates that the Union was there. Then on Christmas morning, they decided to bombard the fort with artillery. That also failed. The Union ended up losing that battle. However, there would be a second battle for Fort Fisher in 1865, where the Union would win, and then three months later, the Civil War would be over. And move It took them three tries to do that? That's amazing. Moving on to number four, Operation Linebacker 2 during the Vietnam War. Basically, uh, in 1972, America was pretty over the whole Vietnam War thing. So on December 18th, they decided they were going to conduct large-scale bombing raids, primarily with B-52s, a.k.a. the buff, a.k.a. the big, ugly, fat buff. <laughs> <laughs> It's the buff! They then proceeded to bomb the North Vietnamese day and night nonstop from December 18th all the way up until Christmas Day, at which point there was a ceasefire in honor of Christmas and to give the North Vietnamese an opportunity to sign a peace treaty. The Vietnamese declined, to which America responded, bet, beatings will continue until morale improves. They then continued to bomb nonstop the 26th, 27th, 28th, and then on the 29th they decided in a single bombing run they were going to send 60 B-52s. <laughs> all at once. And I think we can all agree 60 B-52s is a fucking lot. And the North Vietnamese did agree. Dude, fuck, dude. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know this, um, there's another channel I've been heavily looking into. And it's the Habitual Line Crosser. And his videos are fucking hilarious. Moving on, continuing on. Lot. And the North Vietnamese did agree because by the time the 60th and final B-52 had landed back at base, the North Vietnamese had already gotten hold of America and said that they would enter peace talks. That treaty finally, was unsigned in January, bringing... By the way, uh, another side note, uh, he and a few others are a uh, run-up, well, specifically, uh, he makes an appearance on a podcast called The Unsubscribed Podcast, something, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to, uh, what was I saying? Anyways, while my brain is erroring for a hot minute. So anyways, he, he made an appearance on like this podcast called the Unsubscribe Podcast. And he talks about uh, the uh, how America thinks that uh, we lost like uh, Vietnam. And like he goes into a whole detail about it. I, again, I'm not going to go into it. I highly recommend it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but it is funny as hell. <laughs> anyways, yeah, moving on an end to America's involvement in the Vietnam War, and that 12-day bombing run was then affectionately given the nickname the 12 Days of Christmas. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. The top four times America <laughs> lost her chill on... They named it after the song, okay. Christmas and, uh, Happy Christmas or Merry whatever the fuck you celebrate. Thanks for watching. Go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang, out. Uh oh Anyways, uh... <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that strange cut, but... Thank you all for joining me today, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.